I hope you guys are excited for my, my little presentation. But about me! If you want to get to know me, the koi fish, Avelia. That's my height in what like Americans say. I guess I am 5'2". I'm kind of short. I'm just going to skip past that. I don't want to talk about my height. My birthday is June 5th. We actually did a stream for that. It was super, super fun. Age. It's rude to ask a lady her age. So yeah, I'm not telling you my age. Screw you guys. I am a celestial being, so I've been around for quite a while. So at the end of the day, I didn't really know my age. I'm not telling anyone. As for languages, I speak English and Aussie. When I came to the human realm, I ended up in Australia. <laughs> I have a bit of an Aussie accent. I'm not going to demonstrate my Aussie skills because I'll probably get banned on Twitch. If you know Aussies, we say a lot of inappropriate things normally. I'm going to refrain from that. As for my colors, these are my hex codes from my model. These are the two main colors that you'll see on me. So for any artists that are wondering, this is for you. That is my hex codes. But yeah! <laughs> my likes and dislikes. I really like flowers. That was the whole concept. So if you guys didn't actually know, Abelia is actually a type of flower. That's why you see throughout my design, um, these little white flowers. They're mostly commonly white, but they can also be like a pinky purple color. They're actually one of my favorite flowers of all time. That's where I got the idea from. My favorite thing is the color pink. If uh, you've been on my Discord server and everything for a while and you've been watching me. You would know that I am a huge pink fan. My actual setup, like everything is pink. My, my desktop is pink. My mouse mat is pink. My mouse, my keyboard, even my phone. I love pink. An unhealthy amount. Another one of my likes is ASMR. So you would have known... I did a lot of ASMR streaming before my debut. I'll still be doing ASMR streams. It'll just be once a week from now on though. For anyone wondering about my ASMR streams, they are all safe for work. But yeah, I really do like ASMR. So, Puggy! Crystal puzzles. They're basically like these really, really small little puzzles that are like 3D and you could like build things. I have a couple of them like next to me right now. I have one that's like a My Melody one. I have a cinnamon roll one. They're like my absolute obsession. I love doing crystal puzzles. I love puzzles in general. I find after a really long day just kind of like hyper focusing on something is really 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 fun. Yeah as one of my other likes anything green tea flavored. I love green tea. I really like matcha flavored things as well. I'm not much of a person to really like super sweet things. Some green tea pocky. Wah! The best thing ever. And the matcha Kit Kats. Ah, oh, love 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 love. Um we're gonna ignore that last like. That doesn't exist. Yeah, I, I think that's a mistake. I didn't mean to put that there. Uh, oopsie. But as for dislikes, I hate steak. It's one of the things I have refused to eat ever since I was a kid. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like any form of steak. It's not just like beef like sort of steak. I just hate like big slabs of meat. I don't eat it. I do eat meat, but like I like like mints and like chicken and stuff like that. But I, I won't eat any form of steak. I also really dislike strong smells. Yeah, they give me headaches like pretty bad. For a little bit of background on me, I used to work in a certain store that gave perfume samples to people. So I would stand there all day, like spraying perfumes and colognes and giving it to people for them to smell. So you, I'd end up smelling like super, super insane at the end of the day. So I now have like a hatred for anything like super, super strong. Yeah, bleh, no, no, no. Uh, loud noises. It's kind of funny because I actually like horror games, but I don't like horror games that are like Mm, like loud noises to like jump scares constantly it it's i just don't think it's fun i have very very sensitive ears i'm a sensitive fish i am i'm sensitive to smells and noises <laughs> that's just one thing about me i'm i'm a very very picky person i feel like this exposes a lot about me interrupted sleep i hate when someone if i'm having a nap and someone wakes me up i'm like the most cranky fish in the world i get mega mega cranky I'm like a baby in that regard. I like to have naps. I'm definitely a napper. The last one is the color orange. I don't know why. I feel like it is just awful to look at. It's too bright. I think that's what it is. I, I just really hate the color orange. I've always hated it with a passion. For anyone else who likes it, I don't hate you. I, I just hate that. <laughs>
All right, we'll, we'll move on. I do have a lot more likes and dislikes, but I wanted to keep it pretty even. I'll quickly add for another dislike. I hate Furbies and troll dolls. I hate those things. If you ever want to piss me off, don't. But yeah. Now we'll move on to anime. And I put manhwa here as well because I actually read a lot of like webtoons. I, I freaking love them. These are the things that are like my all time favorites. There's so much more that I, I really do like. But I wanted to keep it pretty like short here. So for anime, I put things like Fruits Basket and Oren High School Host Club. These are like definitely like my childhood shows. I'm pretty sure Oren or like Vampire Night. Either one of them was like my start to anime. When I talk about Fruits Basket anime, I'm talking about the original. I know it's not close to the manga at all. I have read the manga. Of course I love the new one, but the the original like anime has a certain place in my heart. I've watched it like 20 times. I can't get over it. As for Oren, my, my goal with Oren in life is for it to have the Fruits Basket treatment. I want them to remake it so bad. But yeah, Mahatsuka no Yome. I, I love love it so much. It's one of the prettiest shows I think I've ever seen. If you've never experienced it, I highly recommend if you ever have like a weekend and you want to just relax and enjoy something, highly recommend it. It's one of the most beautiful shows I've ever seen and it's super relaxing and it's so engaging. It has one of the best stories out there. Demon School Itamakun. This one's like a guilty pleasure of mine. I love this show. It's, I wouldn't say it's the best show out there, but I love that it's so like nonchalant. I, I just love how chill it is. It's definitely one of my, my favorite shows. Itamakun is one of those shows that I'll put on when I just want to relax and sort of goof off. It's kind of a brain dead show. It's kind of like a parody on Shonen, I'd probably say. It's a really, really good show though. If you want something that's more on the comedy side and just really, really chill, I definitely recommend it. The next is Hunter x Hunter. I don't think I've ever cried more while watching a show. I haven't read it yet. For the people that are gonna get mad at me for not reading Hunter x Hunter, I'm sorry, but I prefer to read uh, manga once it's actually completed. Since it's never really gonna get completed the way it's going, I haven't committed to it yet. But yeah, once it's finally completed, then I will. Okay, we're gonna move on to, to manhwa. One of my all-time favorites was True Beauty. True Beauty was that actually what got me into webtoons. From the very, very beginning, I paid for every single episode until the very end. It finished up very recently. I cried like a baby when it finished because it's definitely something I've been committed to just reading for like the last couple of years. I haven't actually finished the show of it yet though but the webtoon is definitely one of my favorite things. One that I'm also currently reading is Sixth Sense Kiss. I really like that one. You could probably see from these choices here, I really like um, romance webtoons. Yeah, Ghost Theater was amazing. I was very, very sad that it was actually so short, but it felt completed, if that's like anything to say. It felt like it was, it was done. It was a very well put together story. This fourth one pisses me off forever, but it's kind of one of those like guilty pleasures. The one that I kind of read just because it made me so angry before we knew it. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> it's not a bad story. It's just the characters like halfway through get so infuriating. Whoever's read it, you'll know what I mean. Uh, yeah, definitely my, my guilty pleasure. Mm -hmm. And the last one, if I can move out of the way, the reason why I, I never say her name, Lediana ended up at the Duke's Mansion. This one actually got turned into an anime very, very recently and is actually airing at the moment. I actually love the webtoon though, so I'm actually super happy that it's an anime. Definitely recommend if you want to start watching that one rather than reading it, but wow, it's so good. I love um, when like the female lead doesn't just sit around and go like, oh, my life's hard. Life sucks. Feel bad for me. I need, I need a guy to help me. Like she goes like, hell no. I'm going to, I'm going to use this guy to my advantage. I like that about her. I thought she was super, super cool. But yeah, games. So these are just some of my favorite things. I kind of put series down because I, I can't really pick from these games, to be honest. <laughs> so it kind of doesn't really mean much. But I love Shin Megami Tensei. Um, I've played a lot of the series. So yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite things. Now, 
people who do not know, Persona is actually uh, from Shin Megami Tensei. It's kind of just, uh, what's the word? Uh, it's not based off. Spin-off, that's the word. It's a spin-off series. So it actually is part of the Shin Megami Tensei series, but I have played every single game, um, including the first and the two games from Persona 2. But yeah, I also love Danganronpa. I'm a huge Danganronpa fan. So a little bit of background information on me. My favorite console is actually the PS Vita. The PS Vita was the first console I ever bought with my own money. So it has a very, very special place in my heart. And that's how I actually discovered Danganronpa through the PlayStation Vita store when it first came out. And ever since the first one came out, I have been absolutely hooked on it. I remember when 2 came out, I like took time off work to play it. It holds a very, very special place in my heart. As much as people like to meme on Danganronpa, it's actually a very, very good series. It's fun. Another game is Stardew Valley. Um, I've played a lot of like these farming sim games and all that, but I think Stardew was probably one of the best ones out there. It's just super, super relaxing. And I also love um, modding Stardew Valley. It's really, really fun to mod that game. And it's super, super easy compared to other games. Hyoverse games. I have played a lot of Genshin. My account is a bit of a whale account. <laughs> I am not gonna lie, I have a lot of characters. I haven't logged into Genshin recently, but I like Hoyoverse games because, um, especially because like Genshin, they're, they're games that you can play like once a month. And that's what I like about them because half the time I'm too busy to sort of like yeah. dedicate heaps of time to a certain game. But yeah, that's why I like Genshin a lot. The last one I said was Atomi Games. So the reason I put Atomi Games is because I couldn't really say exactly which one's my favorite of all time, but I love my anime boys. I think off the top of my head, I'd probably have to say that Color X Malice is my favorite. I remember when they said that the second game was going to be coming out with an English translation on Switch. I actually went and bought a Switch for it. <laughs> my goals. These are my goals for what I'd like to achieve. Just kind of overall. I would like to become someone's Oshi. I would like for someone to say that I was their Oshi, their favorite VTuber. As someone who has been watching VTubers for a couple of years now and really look up to a lot of VTubers, it would be an absolute dream. So yeah, that's why I put that as my number one goal. For the next one, I just put 5k followers, just as a rough number, just so we have something to sort of go towards. I was honestly spoiled enough to get 1k before my debut, and then we ended up with 2k on Twitch before debut. I was like, holy moly. Um, the next one I put down is Twitch Partner. The reason I put down Twitch Partner is just so I could have the name Abelia rather than Abelia VT. That's the whole reason I want partner. <laughs> Nothing more than that. Just because I want my username. Release official merch. I would love to have my own merch. I think that it'd just be really, really cool. It'd just be absolutely insane for like someone to have a keychain of me <laughs> while they're walking around. Overall dream at the end of the day would probably just to be like walking around in public and then see like someone wearing my merch. I think that'd be absolutely insane. These are like my, my big, big, big dreams. So don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> I'd love to get a 3D model. The reason for this is because I used to get on VR chat a lot. I, I love VR. I actually have a Valve Index and I have full body tracking as well. So I'd love to be able to do sort of VR streams for you guys, but I'd love a model of my design and everything. I think that'd be lots and lots of fun. My last goal and my overall goal is to build a comfy community. I'd love to have people be reoccurring viewers. So I'm just going to try my best. Hopefully you guys will like the upcoming content that I have planned for you guys. I'll be posting a lot on YouTube as well. So I hope you guys look forward to that. I have a lot of things planned and I hope you guys are just as excited as me. So yeah, wah, tags. So we'll start off with my Oshi mark. It's the star in bubbles. I'll be adding this into my Twitter as well, just so you guys can copy it and everything. Feel free to put that on your usernames as well and everything if you want to say that I am your Oshi. But yeah, star and bubbles. My general tag is Abelia. And of course, my live tag is Abelia Live. I also have a not safe for work tag because I know a lot of people have been simping over my model. If you want to do anything not safe for work, please put it under Abelia Sus. I haven't made a meme tag. I don't know if we want a meme tag. I don't think it's needed. I think they can go into the general tag, so we could probably just cut that one out. So, on to the next part. A mascot! I hope you guys like it. This is why I said my mods suck for spoiling, because they did spoil, but yeah. <laughs> Ma 
mascot so chat can have some uppies here this is you guys you guys get uppies it was based off the idea of a sea angel so yeah that's why it looks like this it's based off a sea angel so i thought i could call you guys my sea angels or my angels but i feel like it's a bit too mm, like common so i was wondering what you guys were thinking we could make it do you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to be called memos oh that's actually kind of cute <laughs> now on to me so as you can see here araveri was the person who actually designed my outfit she was super super lovely to work with i love her she's the sweetest and i got kyoam to actually make my reference sheet based off the design and everything. So this is my official reference sheet. I'll be posting it on Twitter later as well. But as you can see from Araveri's design, quite a few things actually changed about me. The jacket design changed a little bit. The little parts on like my arms, the side of the dress weren't a thing. The tail, of course, is very, very different. These are things that my mama Mohaka actually edited and changed. So... I, that's why I thought I'd post it here to actually show you guys because I thought it was super super interesting seeing all the different changes. I asked my mama to make my tail exactly like my previous design but just more visible so it's off to the side now. That was the one thing I always wanted with my design is for you guys to basically be able to see my tail. But yeah, I hope you guys like the, the new design. I, I'm very very happy with how everything turned out. Now on to credits from all the lovely people who helped me. So first, my model mama, my artist mama is Mohaka. These are all their Twitters, by the way. So definitely go check me out on Twitter. Sophia is my rigging mama. She's the one who made me so bouncy and beautiful. My static emotes are by Bubba. Um, we worked with Bubba in the past. The background music on the original screen we had before with the flowers and everything. That was by Zion. Of course, design. Our very mama. Thank you for making my beautiful outfit. You're an absolute gem. Minchan. Minchan was the one who made that stunning background. Laura is the one who did the animated emotes. So thank you so much, Laura. We'll move on. As for my law video, TD Gordon is the one who actually wrote the script for my law. As for the law art, Queen Melon! I've worked with her so many times. I love her. Mama, mama, mama. The beautiful voice you heard was Midnight Mooney. She doesn't really go on Twitter much anymore, but she is on Fiverr if you did want to commission her at any point. And to my 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 great friend Ken. Ken, thank you so much for editing my lore video. If I've missed anyone, I am sorry. I really tried my best to include everyone in the credits here. But I just wanted to thank every single one of these people who have done me an absolute solid. You guys are amazing. And thank you so much.